warnings tonight of a catastrophic disruption to the air travel industry. They've subsided for now. AT&T and Verizon will roll out their 5G coverage nationwide tomorrow, but it won't happen near some airports. We wanted to know why is 5G a concern around airplanes and what solutions are in the works? Good question. Our Jeff Wagner got a lesson in aviation. You do it, at least you're supposed to do it, moments before the plane you're sitting in takes off. Airplane mode is meant to keep your phone from interfering with the plane's navigation system. Regardless, planes still fly and land successfully. But take that issue and amplify it to the point of airlines like Emirates announcing it will suspend flights to several major U.S. airports starting Wednesday. That is the level of concern AT&T and Verizon's 5G service rollout has caused nationwide because of its potential impact on a plane's radar altimeter. The critical device sends out a signal measuring a plane's height above ground. The airplane utilizes that information on a number of the systems on the airplane, uh, including Autoland, uh, the auto throttles that are, that are that are used. Terry McVenus is the president of RTCA, a nonprofit that helps set performance standards for the aviation industry. Why would 5G interfere with that altimeter? Well, the radar altimeters operate in a specific range of on the frequency band. 5G networks operate between 3.7 and 3.9 gigahertz. Altimeters operate at a frequency of 4.2 to 4.4. That closeness could lead them to interfere with each other if the tower is near an airport, right when a plane is trying to land. Altimeters play an especially crucial role when there's low visibility. And if it got a bad signal, if the, if the airplane thought it was higher than it really was or lower than it really was, um, the airplane could to do something that the flight crew may not want it to do. That safety concern is why the airline industry sent a letter to the FAA, FCC, and Department of Transportation to make sure 5G is not rolled out near airports. Tuesday, Verizon and AT&T appeased that request, a move applauded by President Joe Biden. Can planes be modified to uh, not be impacted by the 5G rollout? Uh, yes. Um, short answer is yes. Uh, the rest of the story is it doesn't happen overnight. Jeff Wagner. We're talking an eight to ten year process to get those them fixed. WCCO 4 News. And McVena says it takes nearly a decade for a new altimeter to be designed, approved, manufactured, and then installed on planes. The FAA says other mitigation efforts are in the works.